Greetings. What business have you? Are you wishing you'd stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? You must be joking. I haven't had so much fun since... actually ever. <laughs> really? Despite being wounded? Actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements dead to the world. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Oh, all right then. Next time I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? Still, thank you for hauling me out of there. Anything for you, my lord. Well, young sir, what now? Shall we ride boldly forth to adventures new? I never took you for a romantic soul. But, as it happens, a romantic soul is just what I need by my side right now. What, here? Now? Aren't we leaving? Ah, that's just the thing. Here we are, about to ride off into the unknown. Well, who knows what fate has in store for us? What if we should fall as heroes on the battlefield? How could I depart this world with a quiet heart, never having known true love? I'm a little worried about you, sir. Aren't you getting overheated inside that armour? Look, I can't just go off and get my head chopped off somewhere without first winning the heart of the girl I love. So are you going to help me or not? Well, affairs of the heart are what I do best. I'll be glad to help you. So what do you want me to do? You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. You shall bear her a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. But why me? It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her, um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. And who is this Carolina? The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. You must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. Unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. Carolina. I do know her. She's a pretty girl, all right, but, um... Well, a little below your station. Love knows no station but the heart. And you keep your peasant eyes off her. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. What happened to it? I lost it playing dice at the inn. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. And I'll reward you handsomely. Oh, all right, then. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Well, that's not important. So, some dice player from Ledechko won your grandmother's valuable necklace. Haven't you learned anything from losing to Zdena, the bathhouse wench? My great-grandmother's. And, as it happens, I have learned a trick or two. But that fellow has the luck of the devil. No doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out of their hard-earned groschen. Oh, uh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll go to Ledetsko, find this diabolical dice player and see what I can do. Though I'll probably lose my shirt to him. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Goodbye.
mandrake roots taken straight from the gallows at midnight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Are you the one who played dice with Lord Capon? Played and won, lad. Fine noble he may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you won from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Did you know where this fellow was heading? He was waiting for someone here, but when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sassau River, that one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sassau. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was, well dressed, on horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interest in looking dice. You said they fell well for him? Aye, and no wonder. Fine dice they was, made special, all shiny and whatnot. That's all I need to know. Good luck to you.
Yeah. 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 I can't go any further. The current could sweep me to my death. Yeah. Yeah. Are you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And then... Well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalix is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a, um... a, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... that is... I'd like to ask you for your help. I'm listening. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is... This is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here... I found him like this. Ah, God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together, I took a look around and found some tracks followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Yeah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' camp and find that fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. That doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me. And I'm not on the best of terms with them. They'd most likely kill me on sight. Then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. 
Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. And how am I supposed to recognize the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognize anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. This is pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't catch me out if they start asking questions. Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people very well too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. He sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. What do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau Custodian would lend you a few men. <laughs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than a lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the Custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benesha, especially holding up merchants' wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Beneshaw. Nor Vlashim, for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Damn politics. My oh, word. The whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? I'll help you. I'll have to go there to look for the necklace anyway. And this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. I'll bear that in mind. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had? Or something in particular? Mm, looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had. Money, jewellery, even his boots. Be serious, sleeping in other people's beds. Get out, or you'll be sorry. Hey, get up off that bed. No. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had? 
or something in particular. Looks like he died without a struggle, maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had, money, jewellery, even his boots. It looks like someone went this way with the nobleman's horse. Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something here? <laughs> 